Welcome back to another I get a tutorial for SolidWorks on how to mirror apart. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the bell icon to get new video updates. In this tutorial, I created this model about the origin which will simplify the process. So I want to mirror this feature to the other side and because of how it was modeled, we can use one of the default planes. The mirror command is located in the features tab. Activate the command and a still image shows what the command will do. A plane in feature is selected and mirrored to the opposite side. In the mirror property manager, we first must select the face or plane to mirror about. Expand the model features by clicking the arrow or hitting the C key on your keyboard. We will use the right plane to mirror about. We can select features or faces to the entire body to mirror. We will select the feature from the graphics area or the design tree. I will then hit the green check mark to complete the command. Now let's take a look at some other options. I will edit the feature and try to mirror some faces. And as you can see, SOLIDWORKS does not allow this because the operation is unable to complete a closed body. So you may think that selecting these faces, the operation will work. However, you're missing the top and bottom faces, which form the solid body. However, in this model, you're unable to select them. So originally, select the face or plane that you wish to mirror about and select the feature and the operation performs successfully. Now let's go ahead and mirror the body using the face. But first, I would like to note that if you select the feature instead of the body and complete the command and then edit the feature and try to select the body instead, you will no longer have the option. What you must do is delete the command or the feature and perform it again. So once again, select the face that you wish to mirror about and then the body or bodies you wish to mirror and then complete the command. The mirror command can be very useful and speed up your design process. Join us next week for another SOLIDWORKS tutorial.